Hello and welcome to the RM Network. Today we are talking about The Twilight Zone, Season 1, Episode 5, The Wonderkind. This episode stars John Cho as a down-on-his-luck campaign manager who ends up getting Jacob Tremblay, an 11-year-old boy, elected for president. Yeah, it's as crazy as it sounds. An 11-year-old boy as president and then John Cho as the campaign manager, he needs to figure out how to run a country with an 11-year-old as president and like kind of the consequences that come with that. This episode was good. I think the most standout would have to be the performances. John Cho and Jacob Tremblay, they both did fantastic jobs. Tremblay is such a fantastic actor and for being so young, it's incredible. What we get to see throughout this episode is him being both a kid and kind of an asshole. I mean, most kids kind of are, but he goes from being like the soft, innocent kid to this kind of power-hungry president, and you're just like, Jesus Christ, why would they elect somebody like this? But you understand where they're kind of coming from when they're doing the whole campaign. It's like, he's the most relatable candidate that has probably ever run for president. So in that regard, I understand where they were going with this episode. I just don't think anything would have played out the way it did. Again, this is a fictional story. It's the Twilight Zone. But still, I would have liked a little bit of basis in reality. Like, for example, in this episode, since Jacob Tremblay's character is only 11, his mother is technically the name on the ballot. So when she wins, officially, she would have been president. Now, again, I get the whole political thing about, hey, they want Oliver, the kid, to be president and he'll make all the decisions. But when it comes time and he starts being a brat, you'd think somebody would have stepped in and been like, ma'am, you are actually the president of the United States. How about you take control of your son here? It's small little details like that and even points that they make throughout the entire episode and then disregard near the end that makes me go, why? Why would they do this? Is everybody really in fear of this 11-year-old kid who technically isn't even the president? So while I really liked watching the performances and to see where the story went, you kind of understood where the story was going to go. You kind of saw it coming from a little bit away. You're like, okay, this is going to happen and this is going to happen and blah, 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 blah. And next thing you know, you're like, oh, the episode's over. I would have liked to have seen more from that. I think at the end of the day, this episode isn't going to go down as one of the best in this series. But out of the five we've had so far, I would probably rank it around number three or four. And, you know, that's to be expected. There's always going to be an episode here or two that isn't as great as the one before. But I'm still really excited to see where the rest of the Twilight Zone goes. I thought this episode had great performances and an interesting enough story that felt Twilight Zone-y, but there were just points here and there that I was like, that's a little too unrealistic. And the last episode had fucking aliens in it, and I'm saying this is a little too unrealistic. Now it's time for your guys' comments. Let me know in the comments section, did you see The Wonderkin? If you have, let me know in the comments section your thoughts on it. And let me know your favorite episode of the five episodes we've had so far. That's halfway through the season. We only have five episodes left. And make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell icon. It'll notify you when new videos of ours come up. If you haven't been catching up on the Twilight Zone, we have an entire playlist of reviews. We're going to leave a card right here. And we're also going to leave the playlist at the very end of the video. Make sure if you haven't already, you follow us on social media. Mine is rich underscore Mahalski on Instagram and Twitter. And the networks is at the RM Network on Instagram and Twitter. All of those can be found in the description box. You'll have links. Go follow. Go share it with everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video and every video we'll put out here. I'll see you next time.